Hello and welcome to the Virtual Pipe Organ Project. In this video I am going to answer a quick question about uh, how to set up the Novation launch pads with the sample set. And here you can see my console. It's already set up here with Berea Church. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first clear off my Intersats 32. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to make the off value uh, zero again. Just give me a second to come over to my keyboard. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Interesting. There we go. And now I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to come over here to my launch pad. Uh, my intersats, I believe, is set to this button here. No? no? Okay, interesting. Either, okay, so somehow I've completely disabled the intersats, but that's okay. I'm going to show you the process anyways. So I'm going to right-click on intersats, and that brings up this diagram here. And you can see I have nothing set for it. So to do this, uh, if you know the MIDI node number, you can just uh, click to any device and select the launch pad that you want. I had already got this uh, pre-configured and I'll go there right now to show you how I did that. It's just to avoid any confusion. So in settings, uh, and under MIDI devices, okay, you can see that I don't have left and right launch pad here. I, that's because I set them up that way. So you can then click on the actual MIDI device. You can then go, I believe it's to matching here. And you can rename each of your devices under the logical device name. So that's why I have right launch pad, left launch pad, and console. So this one would be my right launch pad. And the, then the UM1 here, which is my USB MIDI cable. That's, hold on a second, let me actually click on it. That's my console. So that's why you see those names popping up on my dialog. So I'm gonna go back here to enter sats. I'm gonna left click, sorry, right click. And uh, now we have the receive, send shortcut. Uh, okay, and you see event number, device. If I want to do it manually, I would click on any device, go to the left launch pad, but that's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually click on detect complex MIDI setup. And you can see this message says toggle it to on state if possible. So I'm going to come back over here. Okay, perfect. This is off. So. I'm going to now press the pad, okay? Now, if we come back over here, we see the message says, please toggle it again to off state if possible. So I'm gonna come back over. I'm going to now press the same pad again. And then we come over there and let's take a look. As you can see, now it's saying left launch pad. It's saying 9X note on toggle. You want it to say note on toggle because the st stops are uh, toggle controls. So they're they're going to be so when you press them, they'll be on. Or if, and then if you press them again, then they turn off. And uh, that function would work if you had pull stops or any other or lighted tabs. However, you have your console set up at home. Okay, and uh, I know there was questions about uh, these other functions like BX controller, on toggle, off toggle. Um, the BX controller, uh, that's going to be for these buttons here on the launch pad. Okay, for whatever reason, these extra buttons, when you put these Novation launch pad minis into programmer mode, uh, they deal, they're, they're uh, governed by uh, BX controller on, BX controller off. 
whereas uh, any of these other pads in this area here are governed by note on, note off. I hope that explains um, what's going on a little bit better. And uh, if there's any more confusion on that, please let me know. So now we can go over here to the send, okay? And then you can refer back to my uh, previous tutorial video on this. So uh, what you would then, what you can then do is copy current receive event, okay? So that would bring the information that's here. But because we have 9x note toggle, for whatever reason, the event just gets labeled as none. So if there's any developers here for Grand Org, can you please do something where if uh, on the receive information, it's saying note on toggle, that uh, when you click on the copy currents receive event, that it just sets it to 9x note. That would be really, really helpful for those of us who are setting up Novation launch pads. Now the off value here, uh, because of how I had it set up before, the intersats, I believe I read up on it, it's a flute stop, and my flute stops are kind of like a lightish blue color. So I'm gonna enter in the values I have selected for my flutes, which is a 35 for the off value and a 33 for the on value. And now if I go over here to the launch pad, okay, nothing's lit up yet because I haven't uh, done anything with that stop, but watch this. Now the intersats is on. I'll take you back to the screen to show you. See, my intersats is on. And now I'll come back here. I'm gonna press it again. And my intersats is now off, as you can see there. So the logic behind this is, I know it's really hard to tell in the video, but I like to have off and on uh, values for uh, each of the colors to show a difference in the uh, brightness. So for example, I know these are my read stops because they are red. Right now they're off, but if I press, see it got a little bit brighter, it's now on, that one's off. So that way I don't have to necessarily look at my TV screen over here. I can just do a quick glance over at my launch pads and I'll know based on the coloration uh, what type of a stop am I dealing with. Am I dealing with a foundation like a diapason or if I'm dealing with a flute stop, a string stop, a reed stop, a mixture or a mutation. That's how I have this set up. So this concludes uh, setting up uh, a review of setting up the Novation launch pads. I hope I answered uh, all your questions on that. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to actually be talking more in depth about MIDI. So be and uh, my, my future direction for this uh, channel. Okay, and I'm just going to sign off now. If this video, uh, if you liked it. Please like. If you find the information I share on my channel useful, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video.